Uh, we will now see how to use prompt, how, what are elements of a prompt, and how to create one prompt. Here I have one commons report with one list, and now I will first run this report in HTML format. So I will click here, and uh, this is the first thing that we will see. Uh, this is actually a prompt, this here. So we can select one of the months. I will select month May, and this prompt uh, looks like drop-down menu, but there are different kinds of prompts. There are some prompts that are like text box, or there are prompts for dates that look like a calendar and so on, but now we are using uh, this prompt that is named value prompt. So I will just select uh, month May, I will click on finish, and we will get only data for this month. If I run my report again, then I can again select some of the months, I will select August, I will click on finish, and again I would get only data for August. And obviously um, the prompts are only valid for HTML export. If we export our report into Excel or PDF, we won't be able to use uh, this um, prompt uh, functionality because it is interactive, so it will only works in HTML. Uh, we will now see what elements do we need to create a prompt. First, I will select this list here, and we will see that this list is getting data from query 1. Query 1 should be a query that can fetch all of the data, but it should, it should filter only month that user had chose. Uh, now we will jump to that query, so I will go here to report menu to query 1 to see that uh, filter. That filter is uh, here, and how we can create a filter manually inside of this uh, window. Well, for that, we just have to drag this icon filter to here. I will let it go. I will get this dialog. And here I can select one of the columns from this uh, query. I will choose this monkey. And then I will say that monkey should be equal to 3. This means that we are filtering uh, month March. So when I click on OK, we will always filter that month. But we don't want to always filter March. So I will delete. Uh, this uh, filter here. I will just click on delete on my keyboard. And instead of that, I will now look at this uh, filter uh, that was here before. I will double click on it to see it better inside of this uh, dialog. And uh, here we can see that uh, the value of a man co key column should be equal to the value of this. This is name of parameter. So column should be equal to the uh, value of this uh, parameter. And uh, this parameter is um, uh, delimited by these question marks. We, we should write it uh, like this in order to use this uh, parameter as a value inside of our filter. So everything that uh, user chose will be placed inside of this parameter, and then we will use that to filter our query. I will now close uh, this. Now we want to see where from this parameter will get its value. And to see that, we will jump here to report menu and then to this prompt pages folder. Now here we have some special pages. These are prompt pages. If we go here to properties, we will see that they are of a class prompt page, while ordinary pages are of class just page. How do we create new pages here? Well, again, we just use this icon here, page. We drag it to this um, pane. We let it go, and now we have prompt page 2. I will delete this prompt page 2 by clicking on delete on my keyboard. I don't need it. Instead of that, I will uh, enter this prompt page 1. And inside of it, uh, I can see my prompt. So this here is a prompt. And below, we can also see some buttons. Now, where does from we got this, does this prompt and uh, those buttons? Where we got them from toolbox. Inside of toolbox, we have all of these prompts. There are different prompts. There is a text box prompt, a date prompt, and so on. And we also have here our buttons, prompt button. Now, if I select this uh, prompt, I can see that this prompt is getting its values from this uh, query two. Now, let's see that uh, query two. I will jump here to uh, query two. We will notice that this query has two columns, month key and month. I will now run this query by clicking on this button, so we will see what informations are inside of this uh, query, and we will see that here we only have number of month, 
and we have name of month if we now go back we also and if we uh, go back actually to uh, our prompt page and if we select our prompt we will notice that we have these uh, two uh, properties here uh, inside of this uh, first property use value we are using month key column and in, for display value we are using month now what is the uh, meaning of this well first i will uh, run my report once more in html format and we will see that in this drop down menu uh, we can see names of months and this is defined by this property here display value that is display value but the value that will be returned that will be written inside of our parameter is actually from column month key so user will select march but uh, the real value that will be written inside of our parameter will be actually number three so if user selects um, march number three will be written to parameter now where is that parameter it is here here we can see uh, this property and this property is actually that parameter this is a name of our parameter and that value will be placed inside the parameter and then it will be used to uh, filter this uh, query one it will filter this uh, query one and the data from that result will be actually placed inside of our uh, list and this is how our prompt works uh, we now have enough knowledge uh, to create our own uh, prompt and for that i will create totally new report i will go here to open menu to new to report i will select this uh, blank template create I will select my data source by clicking on this button. I will select samples, uh, data, uh, great outdoors data module, open, and this is uh, our source of data. I will first create one uh, list, okay, and I will add three columns to this uh, list. I will click here on sales and I will select columns uh, year, month, and here below we have month key so i'm holding control uh, uh key and i will select all three columns and then i will drag all three columns uh, uh together to create uh, this list uh, now next uh, we have to create our uh, prompt page and for that we go here to prompt pages folder we will drag this page to here now we have our prompt page i will double click on this prompt page and here we already have uh, these buttons at the bottom they're already here now we don't need these two buttons button back and button next we don't need them why uh, are they uh, here well if we have several prompt pages then we would use these buttons to navigate uh, between those pages and we would only need several prompt pages if we have a big number of prompts that cannot fit in one page so we can we should create in that case several pages and this is not used barely often so i will select this uh, first button i will click on delete on my keyboard and then i will select the second button and i will click on the on uh, delete on my uh, keyboard now we will add our prompt and for that we go here to this prompting section and we will use this uh, prompt value prompt i will drag it to this empty space and now we have our uh, main dialog first we have to give a name to our parameter I will name it Aaron Monkey. So this is just the name for our new parameter. Then I will go to next. And now we have to create that filter. I will first uh, select my column uh, Monkey. I will go on these three dots. I will go to sales. And at the bottom, I have my column Monkey. Okay. And this is actually our filter. It says that column Monkey is equal to. Uh, that filter that we saw earlier when we saw that man key is equal to question mark name of parameter and then question mark that is the same filter here so we created our filter and then we will uh, click on next uh, now we should uh, create a query that will fill our prompt so we have decide what values will be inside of our prompt uh, here we already have these values that will be used and those are the values for man key call now, if we don't do anything here, then these values will be presented to users. The user will, be, will see values from 1 to 12, but we want to use uh, names of uh, months. So we will use this uh, 
option here, value to display. And here I will click on three dots and I will select column month. So this is what users will uh, see. And then we can click on finish and we already have our prompt. Now, in order to be sure that months are sorted correctly, we can go to this property here, sorting. We can click on three dots and we can move month key column to this sort list and we will uh, use this ascending order. So now our months will be sorted from 1 to 12, that is from January to December. I will click on OK and we can now test our prompt. I will go here, I will run my report in HTML format and we will see our new uh, prompt. Here we can choose one of the months, for example September, we can click on finish and we can see only values from uh, for uh, September month.